Hey, welcome back, everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. And... Huh, crap, I blocked from Extreme Reactors, huh? That's kind of cool. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, you do that. Don't do that. And... Make up... Oh, say 20 of those for now. That works. And then I can take... Say... Eight of those. Actually, dang it. So I need... Oh, where was the recipe at? There it is. This recipe. Yeah, we'll make 16 of them. Okay, thank you for the flag spike. It was great. Alright, so we have some advanced plating. Now I can use the advanced plating to make RTGs like I mentioned before. And we have four to choose from. There's uranium, plutonium, americium, and californium. I believe this requires a block of 238. Okay. Yeah, I believe we're just going to be stuck with uh, plutonium for now, which plutonium's not bad. It's 250. Americium's 150. And then californium, if you can find it, which it really does show up. But we need Californium 250, and we have 252. But uh, it does show up in Dragon Lairs rarely. And now I need some more ingots of graphite. Okay, not a problem. Let's see, I had some in there. So let's just go ahead and get, well, <clears throat> excuse me, three of those made up. We're also going to need some advanced or uh, universal cable. That's lead. And I grabbed one extra redstone. Whoops. Uh, yeah. These. Oh, that's right. It requires this setup here. Which, not a problem. We can get that done relatively quickly. Uh, be in here. I need four of you. And those upgrade bases will still sit in there from like two episodes ago or so. Uh, let's go ahead and put that stuff away. And those can go in here. What I could do is let's grab two of those. Grab four gold. Two blocks of redstone. Actually, one gold each. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. And just drop these into here. Now, these don't stack, so you do have to kind of babysit this operation. Bit unfortunate there, but... And you can go in there for now. So, does this have anything on it? No, it doesn't. Okay. I need to get some more Terra Steel. I do like just wearing a set of enchanted Terra Steel armor. It's very handy. Alright, and... We have our wireless RF coils. We've got three basic coils left, anyway. And that'll make four of these, but it does not use these up. Which is good news. The bad news, they don't stack. So they are a bit of a nuisance at times. All right, and now it's time for steel, right? Let's make up a bunch of these cables, I think. All right, I forgot already. Dang, I am just not with it right now, am I? It's electrical steel. So I need, say, eight of these, and then I'm going to need eight silicon. Have I made any silicon up yet? I'm going to go with a no on that. Easiest way for me to get silicon right now is, well, just cook up some quartz. That eaten up. This I'm going to start it on. Now, do I have any 
Uh, Electrum. Yes. Okay. So the charging station. This thing here. I need a copper coil block and I need... Oh, these are actually iron, not Electrum. Sweet. Makes it even easier. So I'm going to need four of you. Three iron. I don't know where that one just disappeared to, but it, it did. Uh, how are we doing here? Eh, okay. Do I still have any copper wire? I do. Okay, cool. Eight of you. Two of you. That's ten. That's iron. One of you. And we'll just do... One of those, then it was what? Three glass, two iron, two treated wood. And two iron. There we go. You should be done now. Awesome. So, go ahead and get this made up. And let's go get our electrical steel on the way. Ah, it's nighttime, huh? Oh, are you actually aggressive now? The thing was hanging out all day and it just kept pushing me around while I was you know, making you know, the plates and whatnot. So, rather friendly spider up until it becomes nighttime. And there's our electrical steel. So then we can do like so. Basic universal cables. Wonderful, right? So yeah, one thing I could do is I could replace all of this with the uh, universal cabling pack here if I wanted to. Uh, here's a question. I can't remember if you actually hook directly up to the cable or not. Do not, okay. Pretty sure that you hook straight up to conduiting, right? Yeah. Which, that just drained a little bit of power out of everything. But uh, one thing I could do is... Getting a little tight on space around here, aren't we? So... Hmm. Because, yeah, this is all just... Yeah, that'll work, I guess, right? It's just going to take power straight from the engines. And then we can drop this into here. And these are colored indicators on the front. As to the charge level of the item inside. Red for pretty much empty. Which we've gotten... Eh, almost, a, almost a quarter of a million so far, actually. That's not bad. Sorry about that, I had something pop up. Alright, so, got our axe charging, and you can see how the lights are starting to turn orange now, which definitely helps. But what we're going to do is, over here, we're going to pick up some spider drops, apparently. Uh, we're going to put an RTG down, say, here, right? And now, I'm going to shove that down right there. So, what we need now is an electric heater... And a blast furnace. We need heat conductors for both of these things, though, which is copper plates and rubber. Pretty sure we've got that. Eh, yeah, that'll be done after a while. There's nothing super special about the axe of the wyvern. It's just a really good axe. So, pretty sure is why that was one of the quest rewards, because well, it's probably the least unbalancing, I guess we could call it out of all the Draconic Evolution items. Alright, so we are going to make up a couple of heat conductors. Uh, we're going to get a couple of machine casings, right? 
Yeah, basic machine casing, and this one doesn't require machine casing. Okay, so I just need one of these. And get that, that, and uh, that put away now. I am going to need more copper wire, though, and just enough. I'm going to have to run some more through my, uh, my plate machine there. Metal former, that's the thing. Uh, I need an iron plate, need a couple of redstone. I have to make another circuit, so. Pretty basic, you end up doing a lot of these with industrial craft. Now the other thing I'm going to need though is one of these, I need a battery, so. Uh, we do have some iron casings here, but I don't have any tin item casings. Unless I shoved them in here. And looks like the answer to that is no, not enough. Right, I've got three. I need four. Dang it. Oh well. Uh, you know what? You can go here for now. up here we'll throw these down here it's on plate mode so turns plates into item casings we have ourselves a fully charged axe of the wyvern now and let's go ahead and take care of our uh ores right I, it basically it's pretty close to insta mine Let's go ahead and, okay, there's that speed. So it's definitely faster than my, my Osme Max. Oh, yeah, inventory, right? Still had some stuff in here? Oh yeah, for my another trip. So I'm keeping this sapling, by the way, because it turned up in my uh, my tree farm. Which means it's probably a hybrid. I'm kind of curious to see what type of hybrid it is. There we go. Got ourselves some more olive wood anyway. And... We should be able to make our battery now and at least make the electric heater. I'm also actually, I almost forgot, I'm going to need a compressor. And that's going to require another circuit. So I should probably get these going as well. I need more copper wire for that. Metal former on extruding mode. And I'll wait for one, well, two recipes to get done. One recipe is worth of uh, wires anyway. Or one circuit's worth of wires, I should say. There we go. And you can use these uninsulated, but they will shock you if you get close. So. Which, if you're hard up for rubber, I guess you could get away with just being really careful around them, but. I just grabbed. Seven, I did not mean to. There we go. And my inventory is just full of everything right now. Welcome to modded. Alright, um, two redstone. Right. I already got the two redstone, what the hell? Why I put the circuit? I am just all out of source today. Oh well. Okay, there's our other circuit. I'm going to need another one of these now. And six stone as well. So, well, I did end up needing the redstone. So, I guess that worked. Okay, there's that. Let's go ahead and... Ah, uh, nope, it's the other way around. There we go. There's our compressor. 
And it was battery, circuit, conductor, right? Hey, electric heater. And the blast furnace is just like so. Now, one thing I am going to need, though, is some universal cells. Which is four tin item casings and a glass pane. Okay, that's not horrible, I guess. Uh, get like four of these, I guess. So that's going to be eight tin plates, which I know I don't have, actually. So we'll just uh, grab these. And... Go ahead and run those through once, and then we'll just do the same thing again over here. And this is the uh, the much faster option than the metal former, especially for the power. Yeah, especially for the power. All right, we have our ten item casings now. Uh, you can get the metal former to go that fast with overclockers. Oh, there we go. But. Uh, Takes a lot more energy to run. So we're going to need electric heater here. Now I see this copper dot here. That is the heat input output. So I need to move that to a location where it's a little bit better for me, right? Because I also have to have a compressor hooked up here. And do I still have my wrench on me here? I do. I almost unequipped all my armor there. So, you can have those. Empty fluid cell and a compressor makes a compressed air cell. Hey, look at that. And you just right click it to let it know which side you want to go on. And if I right clicked here, it would rotate to that side. I do like the new uh, interface from IC2, it is rather handy. Now, other things I'm going to need is I'm going to need coils. So, I've got a couple of them. I think two is pretty much the max for the blast furnace anyway. Uh, Any more just doesn't make a difference. And I'm thinking, yeah, we have two coils. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, let's put that in there for now. And I'll get this out of here too, I guess. And I'm also going to need some filters. So, do those. I need 10 of these. I'm going to be using uh, Ender IO conduits. And that's just paper and hoppers. So, didn't put paper over there, did I? No, okay. I need eight pieces of paper. Well, I seem to have lost my paper, right? It seems this recipe only works with oak wood for whatever god awful reason. There's our eight. And so, easy as can be, just like so. Done. And now I should probably also grab a stack of iron. Uh, hmm. Tell you what. We'll also grab a stack of iron blocks. And a box. What did I have along the bottom of this again? Oh yeah, turbines and cobblestone generator. Definitely useful, just not something I need right this second. There we go. And hello, creeper. Go away. What I keep hoping to get is there's a quest reward that I've gotten rather early every other time I played this pack, but it is the uh, the green gun or the uh, uh, something important. Goddess? Uh, Benevolent Goddess's Charm. Yeah. 
Basically, it prevents explosions within a certain radius around you from doing any damage at all. So, like anti-griefing for creepers no matter where you're at. All right, let's get out of here. All right, so we've got these guys. Go ahead and grab a couple of these. And... Honestly, I could just go ahead and slot them over to here. There we go. And just grab another one of those. So I'm going to box and say three, right? You are going to be extractor in green, All right? You will be it's my compressor. So you can be insert on green over here, but you're going to be filtered insert. And you are going to only accept air capsules and iron. All right, you can extract on green. You can insert on brown, say. You can extract on brown. And you, because you have to be careful of this, otherwise you'll end up with iron in the compressor because that's thing. They so make metal blocks with IC2 anyway. I. Uh, Basic item filter is just going to be simply empty fluid cells. So now if I drop this into here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have to turn it on first, don't I? There it goes. Filling up in here. There's no heat in this again. The sorry heat bar is empty because I haven't put these in here, right? There you go. 10 heat units max. And we see heat storing up there. I can also do that. 20 heat units. Uh, it's heat units max. And thing is, is the blast furnace only takes up to 20 heat units. So it takes a while to get warmed up. Once it does, then things will happen, right? So here, you can go into there and we'll do this one. And empty it out. Great. So we'll go ahead and turn you to always active. There it's gone. Now it's stacked up to three. And you can also be extract always active on green. And when these things fill up, we should see them come over here, dump their air, and move back over to here. Should be fairly easy, honestly. There's six, and back up to four over here. Perfect. You can't hope for more than that, right? Well, let's go ahead and get this iron broken down. Let this run for a good long time here. That is a total of 10 stacks of iron in here. So, still waiting on this to heat up. Uh, tick accelerating doesn't really help. Same with this, because this can only accept so much power anyway. If you tick accelerate it, it actually starts cooling off because it's trying to use more heat than can be supplied. The block has a hard limit built into it. Bit of a shame, but what else you gonna do, right? Now you can use the uh, industrial craft upgrades to kind of automate this a little bit more. So you can actually push and pull between blocks without an issue. I just didn't bother making them because they, I already had conduit. And the upgrades were more expensive than just making a couple of filters. But we should see this thing kick off here any second now. And it is now using gas. So it is chugging along at high speed. Such as it is, right? The machine's not fast, per se. I mean, it's definitely not fast. But it's completely self-contained, no coal needed to make steel from iron. Which, kind of handy when you get down to it. Alright, so let's go ahead, I guess. Why do I have a piston? Oh, scroll wheel trick thing again, wasn't it? Probably. Alright, that and that can go into here. Uh, we're going to put these into here. And let's check out our quest. 
What do we get? Block of fiery metal. Now these things are actually kind of fun. You can use them as mob farm bases. Like a fancier, more expensive magma block. Also, cool looking. We're going to need a few of those later for one of the modular machines, though. So, advanced machine casing now, though. This is where it gets fun. So we need steel plates, we need the copper plates, we need advanced alloy. Now, unfortunately, I think I've separated up stuff a little bit. But we should have carbon plates here. Pretty sure I'm actually out of the advanced alloy. Which is not great. Can I have nine of these? Let's get 12, right? Get 12. Get three of those, I guess. And a block worth. This will let us get into industrial foregoing, which is pretty handy mod to get into next, actually. Especially when it comes to like the tree farming. It's just a little more flexible and everything like that. I mean, forestry farms are great and all. But they don't take care of the leaves, which is my huge complaint with them. Because it slows down the farm so much that the leaves aren't taken care of at all. And industrial foregoing farms and to a degree, Ender I.O. farms deal with those just a whole lot better. And look, <laughs> we're like two-thirds of the way to our first steal. Alright, so give me these. That again, I think it's iron on top and tin on the bottom. Hey, look at that. And then compressor, right? Actually, can I run these through a metal press? No, that's a shame. That would have been awesome. Add that recipe in. But I guess you have to have the compressor for a few recipes still. Alright, now I do still have some steel uh, in this table here, right? I've got seven. Not particularly great, but I mean, it works. So I'm just going to grab one more of these. We're just going to do one of these machines for now. There we go. And we're just going to let it run on the rest. And I need one of you. So, casing, steel plates in the corners, because you have to have something to hold everything together, right? Carbon, and advanced alloy. And it doesn't really matter which sides, at least, for the carbon or advanced alloy. They're reversible, so. Advanced machine casing. Sweet. Go ahead and claim that reward. And we ended up with... Greenhouse glass. Times five. Why an odd number, though? I mean... The recipe makes them in pairs. So five is just... Not the greatest. So we could now make an induction furnace if we wanted to. And this is one of the better options, especially early game for cooking things. Uh, whenever it'll take power to heat up, and then once it's fully heated, to keep it warm, it takes like one EU a tick. And yeah, to operate at max speed, you supply it with one EU a tick and a redstone signal. But when it's at max speed, it's fast. But I'm thinking, let's get into the industrial foregoing stuff first, right? So industrial foregoing. Oh, that's right, I need to go look at the gate first. Here we go. Machine case. Or rubber or plastic. Or reinforced stone. Which I think I put that into here. Yep. And then four view. And you. Machine case. And these can be replicated with UU matter. 19 millibuckets a piece. It's not the greatest, but it works. 
And actually, it gives all three. Sweet. Infinite water source, latex processing unit, and machine case. Which is just utterly amazing for starting off industrial, prog industrial programming with. Check mark here. Got a little chat command in the book. Which I never really use the book anyway because it's integrated with JEI. So now I just need a tree fluid extractor. So iron gear, furnace. Uh, good. Like, I remember making extra furnaces. Please tell me I didn't use them all up yet. Six stone and a redstone. But was it this way? It was. Cool. So there's our tree fluid extractor. The next is latex processing unit, which was already given to us by a previous quest reward. And now we just need plastic and rubber. So here's a question. Uh, Acacia. Right, how many do I have? Okay, I got six. It's not necessarily great. Is it nighttime again? Yes. Watch this, it's gonna start raining now or something. Move. So yeah, this is the nuclear craft water source. And it's just four basic plating, two tin, and two water buckets. Whoa. All right, thank you. I'm good now? No, freaking. Skeletons are everywhere. Thank you. No. Now we're good, I think, right? So I'm just going to set this up in the field over here. And we are going to have our latex processing unit, say, here. And have our tree fluid extractor, say, here. And it faces away. Okay, good enough. And then we're going to need acacia wood. So we'll get that planted there for now anyway. And just need a couple of, I'll be regular fluid will work for this. So this thing should be automatically be providing water. It is. You will automatically extract and push into there. And then you are going to need power, which I left my RTGs downstairs, didn't I? So. Do I have anything resembling bone meal on me? Hmm. Not particularly, but I've got fertilizer. Oh, I got bones right here. Cool. Okay. Got the experience as well, I guess. I got one sapling back. Acacia is kind of a fun one to try to farm up for saplings. Uh, kind of similar to jungle wood. It's just a pain. Now, olive wood, though. One metal bucket every five ticks. Acacia, on the other hand, right? If you look this one up, it's three metal buckets every five ticks. So latex. And we can go through here. Actually, IC2 rubber wood is the way to go, I think. That is four metal buckets every five ticks. Uh, most other trees are one. All the forestry trees are one, it looks like. Well, all the modded trees, I should say, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. So, spru or dark oak is our second best. And average numbers aren't real numbers, yep. But, uh, yeah, rubber wood is four millibuckets every five takes. Acacia is second best at three. Then dark oak for two. And then literally everything else is one millibucket a tick. There we go. And... We can see it pulling out latex now. At a much faster rate than the 116 versions. Oh, you jerks. Happened again, right? How much my armor stands? All right, 
Thank you. Alright, so yeah, if you get into raiding dragon dens early, and... Oh, that's the seeds I threw from over here. But yeah, if you uh, start raiding dragon dens early, then you can get... and get lucky, then... Uh, find some Californium, then you're set. You are set for quite a while, actually. Hey, there we go. We got tiny dry rubber coming in. Um, I need nine of those. Thank you. I need to eat. Let's have some donuts, I guess. And tiny dry rubber becomes dry rubber. Make sure, okay. Detected. Go ahead and drop you up into here. That's still a pretty fast furnace in its own right, actually. And then there's that quest. Now, Monster Slaughter Factory. Yeah, we're not getting into that quite yet. Although, Mob and Prisma Tool might not be bad to get into. Just need some cast tiers, which... I did manage to pick up six last time I went to the Nether, so... Little things that help, right? But one thing I should probably look at is a Block Placer. So I can... Automate up my plastic production just a little bit more. So, let's go ahead and get a piece of string put away. Uh, bone meal, I think, can go... Was I putting it? Ah, somewhere around here. There. Gonna keep our acacia. Put our lead sheet metal. That and that. And this on here. Two free machine cases aren't bad, actually. Well, we had to make one, and we got an extra one, so. Transformer upgrades for IC2. We got eight of them. Nice. Increase the energy to your input by eight. Well, by one. One each, but do you stack up to eight? And paper wall with flowers. Uh, 64 of those. Huh? And they're not bad. Oh, yes. Uh, this one as well. And a sleeping mat. There we go. And that box is full. So I do want a chest as well. And what do we have for like cheap placers, right? It's pretty much the open or the cyclic one. Uh, the open blocks one works kind of, but requires redstone signals. This one just places as you go. So I need a dispenser. Do have any bows? I do. Let's grab a stack of cobblestone. Uh, probably what? Two redstone and two iron. So there's that then. And... Oh, it's two smooth stone and three cobble. Okay. Go figure. There we go. Put everything away. Place this down and we should be good to go. And it looks like we had an acacia tree grow as well. Awesome. So, uh, you know what? Let's just place you here. Oh, sure, you can place uh, facing vertically, can't you? All right, and you can have that. Always on. Perfect. We got three saplings out of that one. Not bad. And then I can just pop these in as well. And you do have the ability to store nine stacks, but... Honestly, I'm probably going to forget about you every once in a while. So I'd like to be able to keep running even through nine stacks. So let's make it a total of like 36. Uh, auto extract items. Insert items. And there we go. 
So then we should be good to go. And if you want to have a little bit of fun, you can always crank this thing up to full speed. And just get yourself a, a good stockpile of fluid latex for a bit. Looks like I might actually backfill this, which is okay because this has got eight mil bucket or eight buckets worth of uh, storage as well. So, and it just loaded back down. Sweet. So that should get us quite a bit of a. Uh, oh, that's a problem though. Okay. Well, here's a secret about these uh, fluid sources. It's per side. Usually, right? For some reason, though, these don't like to actually pull from there. Hmm. Yeah. You can have it go to a tank and it'll work and then pull from the tank, but I'm too lazy for that right now. So how are we doing on our seeds? 2456. Not bad. And then our tank is, yeah. Uh is that one million millibuckets now? So we have a thousand buckets roughly. Give or take five hundred with a, a oil. Oh yeah. And I did go ahead and put my precision sawmill down over here. I really forgot about that. But I'm thinking uh, probably next episode or maybe the one after. How are we doing here? Three pieces of steel. Eh, not bad. I mean, it's not the greatest, and it does produce slag. So this has to have somewhere to go. Which, uh, unfortunately, I don't have an extra box on me. But uh, uh, pretty soon, though, I'm going to have to start working on Centralizing everything, right? Probably be a good idea. But if you have any suggestions or whatnot for what the final base design should look like, go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I'm kind of still up in the air a little bit on how I want it to look. So, input's always welcome. Oh, Cobalt doesn't have a home. Okay. Here we go. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.